Hej, cześć, witajcie moi drodzy. W kolejnym materiale zagrajmy w The Wolf Among Us. I dzisiaj zaczynamy oczywiście ostatni epizod sezonu pierwszego. I zobaczymy co będzie, co nie. To żeby nie przedłużać zaczynajmy. I mean, your eyes and the teeth. You're not really supposed to do that, are you? Not if I can avoid it. Holly's sister, Lily. Do you even give a shit about us, the strays? That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? We're destroying the tree. No! We're not burning the tree, Snow. Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? The rules are the rules. I don't get to make them, I just enforce them. Bull shit. <laughs> oh god, Bigby! This time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Bigby, wait. When you get the Crooked Man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. Dobrze, sobie tu przewiniemy, jeżeli się da. A nie, to się dobra, to sobie po... no, po... oglądamy po raz piąty. No cóż, dzisiaj porozmawiamy sobie w tym materiale z Garbusem, czyli z tym całym, nie wiem jak to powiedzieć, z szefem tych morderstw. Zaraz się dowiemy od niego, co nie, co mo tak mam, mam nadzieję. Tylko żeby tutaj nie, nie wpaść e, w walkę, bo to będzie, e, jak to się mówi, masakra będzie i... i i nie chcę, żeby właśnie nasz bohater, no, żeby ten doktorek nas nie znalazł w kosnicy, co nie? Nie taki wilk straszny, no dobra. You must be tired. And if my envoys are correct, you haven't had a lot of rest recently. Please, Sheriff, relax for a moment, will you? Do you want a drink? Something to eat? Vivian makes a very nice, very... It's elegant. Really, her carpaccio... It's lobster. Oh, so I'm, I'm here for one reason, and it's not to eat your fucking food. Really? Yeah. What do you think you're doing? He's gonna... Mr. Wolf is our guest, and I have every intention of cooperating. So don't waste the silver. Sit down, Jersey. Ale ty jesteś idiota, ty... Ru well, Rudzielcu. For the sake of transparency, why don't you tell us why you're here? It would help settle everyone's nerves, I think. You no, forget actually. what happened at the Pudding and Pie? You and your goons tried to kill me! I'm truly sorry for that whole debacle. It was not my intention to put you or Miss White in any sort of danger. My wish was merely to take Crane, Sheriff. And as soon as the assignment grew out of control, 
I put a stop to it. I know that that doesn't change what happened to you. And I can only offer my sincerest apologies. You didn't stop it out of the kindness of your heart. You stopped it because Snow White offered up Crane. That may have appeared to you to be the case, but I assure you, it wasn't. And I hope you believe me when I say, Sheriff, that I sincerely mean to make it up to you. The recent murders that have gotten such attention as of late, I don't relish telling you that they were perpetrated by an employee of mine. It's a very unfortunate bit of business, but I promise you that the matter will be dealt with internally. I just want to settle the issue for you and to assure you that it's over with. Vashnia. An unfortunate bit of business? You're gonna tell me right now who killed him. Sheriff, I have complete respect for you and your job. I hope you know that. But I simply can't divulge that information. You really shouldn't worry yourself. As I said, I've got this under control. No, I'm gonna deal with it right now. Yeah, right. What do you think this is? Some kind of negotiation? The man said he'd take care of it. So why don't you take the hint and get out? Tweedledee, please. I'm the law here, not you. Now tell me who did it. Or what? You're gonna kill me too? Well, go ahead. You think I give a shit anymore? After what you did? That's enough. I was hoping it wouldn't come to this. But in the interest of preserving our alliance, if you have to know, it was Georgie. However, like I said, I'll be handling the matter if you don't mind. The book. Georgie. Who to Georgie? You got what you wanted, so just sit down now. Yeah, I killed him. So what? Why'd you do it? Why kill them? Does it matter? Look, the fact is, George here misinterpreted one of my instructions. Misinterpreted? And I want to make things right. So, let's work something out. What's there to work out? I'm protected, aren't I? Your protection has limits, and I think you've far exceeded yours. But you could murder someone in cold blood like that. You fucking asked me to do this! And then you attempt me to, to kill blame him. me for it. You will be silent while we discuss what to do with you. This is right, bollocks, sis. You're just gonna let him do this? So what do you say, Sheriff? Can we discuss terms? You can have Georgie. Consider it a gift. Ensuring our continued cooperation. What the hell? Take this so book. Take all of them. I, didn't I, fuck I think I'll be taking both of you. You're not taking me, you fucking ponce. What the fuck is this shit? You said you'd cover for us. For minor infractions, not murder. Just go with him, Georgie. You're gonna sink us all. What's wrong with you people? You're really gonna sell him out just like you that? You think I'd give a fuck if I'm the one Who the shit do you think you fuckers are? Get the fuck out of I here. I do apologize, Sheriff, but I think it's best if you leave now. There's no way I'm going with him. Are you kidding me? Things are about to get unpleasant, and I would rather you weren't here to watch. You can go join that whore at the bottom of the lake for all I give a shit, but he's not taking me anywhere. I'll roll over on a lot of you before I let that shit happen. What are you saying? Yeah, what the fuck? Vashne. I already told you. I'm taking both of you in, so let's go. This could have gone so well. To speak the truth, I've never been a very good mediator. Why negotiate when you can just decide? Ja pierdzielę, co ona tu robi? <laughs> Did I miss anything good? Well, look at you all fixed up. <clears throat> Co jest do chu? O ja pier... O ja pier... Nie, ja tak nie chciałem tego skończyć do chuła. Over here! Osty! Bardzo dobrze! You're done, Wolf! Come on, we're pretty much done here. Ty! 
I'd like to say it was nice knowing you, but I'll be glad to see your insides turned out. O! Oh. O oh, ja pierdzielę. Aj, 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 aj. To nie tak miało być. O ja pier... Dobra, gdzie oni spierdzielili? Ja pierdzielę. Czep... Dobra. Może ich złapiemy. Ale nie wiem, a dobra, okej, okay. dobra mamy. Nie wiem czy ja dobrze to w ogóle zrobiłem, cholera. Dobre. Dawaj, 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 dawaj. O, ty suki. Ja pierdzielę. Oh yeah. Gun it. Are you sure? Do it. He's not moving. Keep going. So so. Dobra, wchodzimy do środka, kurde. Nie ma czasu. Mm, dobra. Zobaczymy, co nas będzie czekać. Ja nie wiem, co w ogóle. Posłuchamy sobie. Can you stand up? It's okay. Take your time. Slowly. Oh, it's no fucking use. No way I'm walking out of here. How did this happen, Georgie? How... Hmm. 
Niespodzianka. Shit. Hello, Big B. No cześć. I hope you come to your senses. Crooked man's the one you want. But of course, you're too much of an idiot to see that. Or maybe you just like me too much to let me go. I'm taking you in, Georgie. Let's go. You gonna carry me? Please, Sheriff. Haven't you done enough? Look at him. He's dying. You can't seriously want to protect this guy. You know what he did. I'm not going anywhere. It isn't his fault. He's a murderer. Faith and Lily, he's the reason they're dead. Look, I know he made a few mistakes. We all have. What? He made sure they couldn't talk with those damn ribbons, and then he killed them. You're wearing one yourself. Doesn't that bother you even a little, knowing that man murdered- Of course it does. Those girls- So it's all my fucking fault then. I you didn't fucking... mean- You ah! fucking- You're gonna throw me to the fucking wolf too? You know I didn't have a goddamn choice. What the fuck? Ugh. I did what I had to! You can't fucking blame me for that. Why'd you do it then, huh? If it's not your fault, then what the fuck happened? Ooh. Look, Faith and the others tried to pull a run on us. And as you can imagine, the crooked man wasn't too thrilled. But of course, the big boss didn't want to get his fucking hands dirty. So he told me to take care of it. You think I don't know what that means? Either I do what he says or I'm the one getting dealt with. So I fucking killed him. And I'd do it again. Cause it's not my fault. The crooked man gave the order. He told me to kill them. And then he fucking sold me out. You're still the one who pulled the trigger. Nobody held your hand and made you go through with it. Ryan, believe what you want. I can tell you've made up your mind. Doesn't matter if it's fucking true or not. Go ahead and arrest me then. But it won't bring back Lily or Faith. It won't free your friend Narissa. And I'm just the sap taking the fall for the whole thing. It must be so easy being you. Just come in here and blame me for all this shit. Job's done, right? George is the bad guy. It's all his fucking fault. But what was I supposed to do? You don't know what it's like, Bigby. How could you know? Oh, wow. You could have done anything else. You could have let them go. You could have freed Faith and Lily from those fucking ribbons instead of murdering them. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. If I freed them... What would you have me do? Kill her? Georgie, don't. It was them or Vivian. So you tell me, if freeing Lily meant she had to die... Do you still think I had a fucking choice? What are you doing? What are you talking about? This is the original. The girl with the ribbon. I'm sure you've heard the stories. Couldn't take it off, couldn't talk about it. She used her little purple ribbon to make more of them. To keep our girls quiet. To ensure absolute discretion. You promised you wouldn't. All that magic is connected to this little thing. You remove hers, and the spell's broken. They're all free. But you know what happens to her? The same thing that happened to Faith. So don't you come in here and tell me I fucked up. What the hell, Georgie? We were supposed to look out for each other. I trusted you. You can't fucking blame me. You're not innocent here either. Wait, so you've been helping this asshole? I thought you cared about them. I do. Of course I do. You have to understand, nobody was supposed to die. When we built this place, it, it was just a stupid idea, a gimmick. Discretion is our guarantee. That's how it started anyway. This was supposed to be our place. We were gonna be in charge for once, and nobody would try to control us or use us. That was the point. Then the crooked man showed up and everything just turned to shit. So, do you get it now? Why I couldn't just... <clears throat> if you still think it's so fucking simple, then you do it. Go right ahead. Kill her then. What are you doing? Break the spell. Save the fucking day! Stop it! I told you, sometimes all your options are shit. I'm not playing this game, Georgie. I won't kill her. Don't talk about me like I'm not even here. Please. You think this is hard for you? My life is such a fucking burden on your conscience. 
Don't I get a say? It's my life. Like it was either of yours to give up in the first place. Vivian, I'm not gonna kill you. I know that. Wait. I'm sick of everyone thinking that they can just do what they want with my life. I thought it would be different here. But it's all the fucking same. Vivian, I didn't mean- Do you think I wanted to be this person? What I did to Faith and Lily? To all of them. Vivian, wait. I- Every day I have to look Gwen and Hans in the eye and pretend I don't care. I have to forget what I've done to them. What I took away from them. I look at Nerissa and I hate myself. Vivian! I can't pretend anymore. What are you doing? Vivian! Don't! Goodbye, Vivian! Rudy. No! Ja pierdziele! Fuck! No, 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 no! Ja pierdziele! Why do you have to do that, Vivian? Vivian! Just... Jesus. Vivian! I didn't fucking mean it! I was just... Oh, fuck! Get up. A to bit so. Up. Don't think so, big B. Oh, yeah, Pierre. I'm gonna die here. I think we both know that. Just make sure you give the crooked man the same treatment when you find him. Really fuck him up for me, all right? He's gonna have uh, it worse. Don't worry. Old foundry by the river, all right? Shepherd Metalworks. He'll be there. Fucking asshole. You want to finish me off now? Dobra. Or do you plan to kick me around a little first? Nie Rip będę cię kopał. One by one. That's what you want to do, Nie. right? Nie. It's not who I am. I tak już za dużo. Sure it's not. No more games, all right. We both know how this ends. <laughs> Just make it quick. I know what I did. Let's not draw this out. Niech u mnie, dobra. What? You're just gonna leave me here? I can't do it, Georgie. I can't take another life. You selfish bastard. Fuck you. A jeszcze możesz mówić tak, co nie? Piece of shit. Jest huta przy rzece. Shepard Metal Works. A jest! Tu zaraz, ile tam osób padło? Na pewno ten pa pajac... Na pewno ten pajac e, padł. Ten grubas. Georgi. E, Vivian. I chyba... I chyba tyle mi się wydaje. Kurde, trzeba go złapać tego z, z kurczy syna, znaczy z synka i z nim zrobić porządek. Dobra, otwieramy. Of course. O ja pierdziele. Zamykaj ze sobą, ale ciszej, bo ktoś cię usłyszy. Ty.
Zobaczymy co nas tu będzie czekać Kurde, się obawiam, aż się boję tam iść, powiem wam O, ja pierdzielę Co my tu mamy? Paczki Aha, no widzę właśnie ten znak Ten znak ich O, o Ja pierdzielę Eee. Nikogo nie ma? Cisza. The big bad wolf. A gdzie ty jesteś? Ty głupia. Ty głupia. No jak ja mam iść tędy? Halo. Dobra mam. Ty głupia. You used to be something. Gdzie ty jesteś? Do cholery. O kurde. Co za sukin. Ja pierdzielę, nie, nie wierzę w to Nie wierzę Ona nam, Oni nam robili zdjęcia A to jedne kur... No ale jak ja mam dalej iść, halo? Jak ja mam dalej iść? Halo? My nie wiem... A, tu mam, dobra. Mam was tu. Gdzie ty jesteś, Mary, głupia? Ty kurde, ty. Ja pierdzielę, no, nie wierzę w to. Stół warsztatowy. Kule sobie wyrabiali, a to jedno. Gdzie ty jesteś do cholery? O ja pierdzielę Ty głupia Pojawiłem się Ty sukin synie za przeproszeniem powiem Nie Don't worry. This won't take long. Get out of my way now. Don't make this worse. Aw, he doesn't want to play. I'm sure you'll persuade him. <laughs> wow, what a man. Stealing punches while my back is turned. Didn't your mother ever teach you to fight proper? <laughs> oh, ho, ho, ho. oh, yeah, Pierre. O nie, to będzie najgorsze. Osiedl. Niedobrze. Z tyłu. No nie, o kurde. Ale to jest kurczy byk, ja pier... Ja pierdzielę. Nie ma. A to jedno. Ja pier... Ej, nie straszcie mnie, proszę was. Ty głupia! Dobra. Może się uda jakąś wyjścią. Ja pier... O, oh, shit! Nie, 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 nie. Gdzie jesteś? Wstawaj i wstawaj mnie! Z tyłu! O ja pier... O! Że co? Co za... Menda? Co za menda społeczna? O ja pier... Nie! Ja pierdziele... 
Urbana. O ja pierdzielę. Dawaj, 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 dawaj. Dawaj. Ja pierdzielę. Really? Spadliśmy oboje, no zajebiście rzesz. Znowu przylazła? Co za wredna? Co za wredus? Eee... Co to ma być? Do cholery. Ja pier... O ja pier... Kurde, co jest? Ja pierdzielę. Nie to właściwa? Ja pierdzielę. Nie spodziewałem się takiego czegoś. O nie. Nie spodziewałem się takiego czegoś. Coś będzie nieciekawe, będzie coś ciekawego, tak myślę. Aha, wiem o co chodzi, wiem, wiem. Bo oni się zamieniają w kamienie. I... Jest! Co za skurczy byk! O nie! O nie! O nie! Padła? Kurde, jest mi ciekaw jak oberwał ten Bigby. O ja pierdzielę. Mm. Ale ty skurde. Kurde, powiem... Skubane. Skub... O! Witaj, garbusku. A gdzie ty jesteś? Skurczy byku ty. Jesteś! Myślałem, że już spierdzielił. Hello, Bigby. You look tired. Give me one good reason not to rip you apart right now. Oh, this gun holds six rounds of specially. I won't miss next time. Before you do anything with me, I thought I should point out a few things. Snow White wants you to bring me back to the woodlands, doesn't she? And that's what I want. That's right. But what happens to you once you get there is a different story. I'm not quite finished. You will bring me back alive. Look, all I ask for is the chance to speak for myself in front of the community. 
And I'm sure Miss White would agree that I should be given a fair trial. Dobra, chowaj te broń, Can we at least kurde. agree on that? I will have a trial. Are we clear? Oj, kurde, tu zajęty byłem telefonem, ja pierdzielę. Look, there's no reason for us to be at each other's throats here. Kurde. That's funny, coming from a guy pointing a gun at my head. This is just a precaution. I'm sure you understand. I'm no murderer, Mr. Wolf. I didn't kill those women. And I think you know that. All I'm asking for is a chance to explain my side of the story. If you're not a killer, then what are you? I'm a businessman, not a killer. There's still a lot you have to answer for. And I will, as long as you agree to my terms. Because I'm not saying another word until I'm brought before the community. I don't mean to belabor the point, but just so we're clear, if you change your mind and decide to do something stupid, you won't get your answers. But you will have a difficult time explaining yourself to Miss White and the rest of this miserable town. You're often reckless. Ja pierdzielę. And I worry you're not thinking of the... Let me ask you an honest question. What do you really care about here? Where this case is concerned, I mean. Do you really want the truth? This is about protecting Fable Town. When some asshole murders two of our people, it's my job to bring them down. Then why are you here? You know who murdered them. Georgie. He's dead, isn't he? My point being, the killer has been dealt with. You've won. You really think I'm that stupid? I understand you have an obligation to bring me in. But you can brighten up a little. It's over. So, shall we get going? I'd rather not dawdle. All right, let's go. Hand over the gun. I think I'd rather hold on to it, if you don't mind. What do you say? Hey! I'm sure Miss White will be pleased. Such a reliable pup. I understand why she'd want to keep you around. You're under arrest. You'll be given a trial in front of your peers. <clears throat> and your punishment will follow. Ale idziemy. Ja myślałem, że on... Wiecie co? Ja myślałem, że on wpadnie na jakąś to płytkę i ta płytka nam pierdutnie, bo on tak się patrzył. Nie wiem, czy tam dołożyliście to. Się patrzył na tą płytkę. Jak na przykład byśmy stali dłużej, to ona by się... He's back. The crooked man. Thank God. Motherfucker. Are you okay? It's been hours. Why? Don't I look okay? I guess you've been worse. You did well, Sheriff. I'm surprised. Not that you did well, but that, you know... I'm just glad you made it back in one piece. It's about time you showed up. Now throw this asshole down the fucking well. Yes, what are you waiting what you for? You for murderer. My you wife killed Lily she was my sister. Where the fuck do you and get off? Faith? You think you have the right you to just do this to people? Said, You're a fucking sir, crook. Yes. You should fucking be ashamed. Shit hole. Everyone, can I have your attention? Thank you all for coming here on such short notice. I know normally we'd schedule a formal hearing, but considering the circumstances, I thought it best if we do this as soon as possible. The crooked man is charged with the murder of As Faith and... As I already and... informed your sheriff, it was Mr. Georgie Porgy who killed those women, not me. What? It was Georgie? Georgie? I don't mean to interrupt you, Miss White, but I thought it would be unwise to proceed with such faulty information. Georgie may have killed them, but you made the call. Do I have to explain the situation to you again? Wait a minute. So you're saying Georgie's the motherfucker who killed my sister? Well, where is he? Yeah, you're gonna bring that shithead in too, aren't you? Yes, yeah, Sheriff. Where is that rotten scoundrel now? Yeah. Is he still out there? I sincerely hope not. Georgie paid for what he did. In the end, there was a fight, and he bled out from his wounds. It's over. 
So he's dead? That's what you're saying? I can't believe it was him. So you see, the culprit has been punished. There's no That doesn't need change this. anything. We'll deal with it later, but right now you're the one I'm concerned with. You called the shots. Georgie made that perfectly clear. In which case you still have a lot to answer for. And I was I told don't... I would be allowed to speak. We have to read the rest of the charges. What other charges? Let her finish. Then you can have your say. Got it? If you insist. <clears throat> you are charged with the murder of Faith and Lily, which Georgie carried out on your order, inciting violence against various members of the Fabletown community, including the attempted murder of Sheriff Bigby Wolf. Twice. A misunderstanding. Aiding and providing monetary support for the forced prostitution at the Pudding and Pie. Additionally, you are charged with multiple counts of fraud, extortion, racketeering, and the illegal possession and sale of magical artifacts. Now, is there anything you would like to say? <clears throat> First of all, I had nothing to do with Faith and Lily, so you can strike that one from your little record book. Bullshit! Second, like hell you did Stop the charade. We know you're involved. Come on, it's obvious. And there's all the other crap he's done. I know you're responsible. You've been behind all of this from the beginning, so cut the shit. We all know who you are. We know what you've Just done. Just give it up already. The Crooked Man has committed crimes against this government, and most importantly, its citizens. These charges, if proven, are enough to justify death, upon which your body will be committed to the witching Where ground. it fucking belongs. That's so right. let's get but on with it But we promised you a chance to defend yourself. And I won't rob you of that right. What the you fuck? Really this is about talk? justice. If we're ever going to pull ourselves together and make something of this town, we have to start doing things correctly. No more snap judgments, no more secrets. We are going to treat everyone fairly, even when they don't deserve it. This is ridiculous. You have the floor. Thank you, Miss White. You've all met Georgie. I don't have to tell you what kind of person he was. He was a total scoundrel, lacking in any sort of moral fiber. I hired him as a favor to his family, you see. A promise kept to a dying mother. Oh, Are you gonna get to your point or what? Georgie was working for me, yes. But he was not acting on my behalf when he killed those women. It was his business. And for whatever reason, I'm sure only he could understand, he murdered two of his most faithful employees. I had nothing to do with it. This, this is such bullshit! He's always been a bit of a powder keg. Georgie seemed pretty convinced he didn't have a say in the matter. He clearly misunderstood my intention. Really? I would never authorize such an act. Any of you actually believe this bullshit? Holly, please. Tell them, Bigby. When you finally showed up at my door last night, wasn't I more than helpful? I answered your questions. I was willing to cooperate. What's he talking about? Yeah, and your goons attacked me. Did you forget that part? They get a bit carried away sometimes, it's true. Loyal to the end. They do it because they want to protect me, as I've protected them. You understand wanting to protect what you care about, don't you? You'd do anything. You might even give up an innocent man, just to save someone. Yeah, right. They don't do it because they want to protect you. You intimidate people. You scare tactics. They're afraid if they don't follow orders, they'll end up dead. Let me explain this to you. My employees are just that. Hired help. I see some of them are here among you. They are not my slaves. They are all free to make their own decisions, as Georgie was. You're not serious! I know what you do to people. I've seen it firsthand. What you did to Faith. The way you manipulated her! Do you really think any of those girls were free? Do you really think Faith I'm wanted sorry, to- I'm sorry, Lawrence. I'm sorry that your wife came to me for help, and I'm sorry that I decided against my best judgment to give her a distasteful job. Right, and you kept them in debt so they couldn't leave. Yeah, that's what you did to us. How you kept us all you in You forget line. it was not me who put you in that position. You all act like I'm some kind of tyrant. When your government abandoned you, left you poor and helpless, sniveling on street corners. I was there to look out for you. Yes, but... Wasn't I? 
Crane was the one who let this town go to the fucking dogs. The guy who was in your pocket, remember? Really? What about Auntie Greenleaf? Her story is not uncommon. She left everything she had back in the homelands. Everything that matters, anyway. With nowhere else to turn, she came to me for help. And what did I do for you? You got my tree back. I got her tree back. And in turn, we used her magic to help poor Fables get glamours. Because I helped her, she was able to make a living. Provide for herself. And what did they do? She wanted my tree destroyed, but Bigby refused. What? You were gonna burn her tree? Snow, why would you want that? I know what you're doing, and it's not gonna work. You can't manipulate us or these people. We're not here to talk oh, about this. Oh, we're not? Bigby just This means is important, and I'm glad it's being talked about. You know why I asked him to destroy your tree. You were working with Crane and the Crooked Man. It wasn't her fault. You can lie to yourself, but you can't lie to me. You hated Crane, and you hated him for wanting to fuck you, and you being too soft to notice what he'd do to get it. It had nothing to do with a crooked man. We've made some mistakes. I've made some mistakes. But believe me, I truly want what's best for this town. And that may not always be clear right away, but I want you all to know that I care deeply about all of you. And so does the Sheriff. Yeah, right. I can't promise you perfection. No one can. Maybe you haven't noticed, but we've been doing all this to protect you. We're trying to stop people like him. The Crooked Man's been exploiting you. Exploiting your hope for a better life. You would go to him for help, and he would take that weakness and add it to his strength. He took Faith and Lily from us. While we can never get them back, we can certainly punish who's responsible. They're right. You're all still afraid of him, even now. But you needn't be. His contamination of this town is over, and those girls will have their justice. <laughs> Very good, very good. The sentiment is surely appreciated, Miss White. But it doesn't disguise the fact that these accusations are completely unfounded. The Sheriff simply doesn't have a particle of evidence linking me to the- Georgie murder. was working for you! Bigby got a confession that- A confession that... that nobody heard. Now, I'm no barrister, but I think such a statement would carry more weight if Bigby weren't the only one to whom Georgie spoke. Especially given Bigby's... history. What are you talking about? Snow? You won't be able to talk your way out of this, crooked man. What do you mean there's no evidence? Maybe... maybe he's... I mean, this doesn't feel right, how we're doing this. I just... Of need... course it's right! This man tormented all of you, for profit! Georgie Let killed him. Let me just him. make sure I understand you. You're trying to say that I'm responsible for what Georgie did, because he was working for me at the time, yes? Yes. Of course, yes. You're responsible. Well, by that logic, Miss White should be on trial for Tweedledum's murder, since you know Bigby works for her. That's... He killed a man. What happened with Tweedledum wasn't Snow's fault. If you all want to blame someone, blame me. She had nothing to do with it. Bigby and I have already discussed his behavior that night. We're handling it internally. Now, where have I heard that before? How about the way he treated poor Tweedledee when he was in your custody? He was beaten to mashed apples while under your watch. Under my watch? Maybe he's right. Did you think we'd all just let that go? You can't be serious. Snow had nothing to do with it. We all thought she was dead. Besides, Crane was still deputy mayor when that happened. Right before you decided to kidnap him. It was for his own protection. Oh, you're right, dear. Crane was in charge. Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference. That's enough. So, you won't answer for your employees' behavior, but I must perish for This mine. is completely different. I we all... did not order those two girls dead. It simply never happened. Georgie killed Faith and Lily. End of story. 
They want to scapegoat me for their own tangled ends, but they refuse to answer for their own this crimes. This isn't right. Oh, please. This isn't the point. We'll deal with them after we deal with you. That's I not true. I mean, a true. certain level of privilege should be afforded to... Three. To who? This is how it's always been. Yes. See, this is exactly to what I'm speaking. We lashed our ropes to this diseased world, and ever since, which one of us has been there for you? Who filled your lives with the promise of more? Who was there while they idly played in their towers, judging you, treating you as mindless children, too stupid to command your own destiny? Without me, who will pay your rent when you're on the verge of eviction? Who will dare challenge their brutality when it leaks to our dear citizens? Who will protect you from the big bad wolf? Who will be the- Bigby? Miss White? Excuse me, I... dear. I wanted to make sure I had the chance to say something. Why don't you take a moment to catch your breath, little What's she that? doing here? I'd like to... I, I need to say something. We're kind of in the middle of something. Uh, of course. Go right ahead. You probably don't remember me. I don't know why I was afraid to come My here. My dear, I don't Just know shut up! You enslaved us for years. Let us hear stories about what you do. Told us we would lose everything if we stepped just one toe out of line. And we couldn't say a word about it because of these damn ribbons. <laughs> but you know what? Now it's my turn to talk. How are you? I found Vivian's body. Did you kill her? Did he? Sheriff, this is highly irregular. Be quiet. We need to establish some order here. Vashne. Vivian killed herself back at the pudding and pie. I'm sorry, um, I don't think I Nerissa! Know... My name is Nerissa. It's okay, my dear. It's going to be just... He ordered them dead. This fucker. Faith and Lily... That's a lie! I was in the goddamn room when he did it! Faith and Lily are dead because of you. The only two people who ever gave a damn about me. Don't worry. He's gonna pay for it. He made Georgie do it. It was always him. Georgie would have never done anything without his say-so. Ever. You're going to take the word of a stupid... At least five other girls will back me up on this. We all heard you say it. Did you now? Looks like we found our evidence. She saw it firsthand. He's guilty! Good enough for me. Me too. So, that's it, right? Calm down the witching well! No, that's too fucking easy for a crook like that! What do you mean? He's gotta pay for what he did! Listen to yourselves! You're all rats, fleeing from one sinking ship to the next. So quick to latch onto whatever will keep your miserable lives afloat. This is how you want to repay all I've done for you. What, you take two people's lives away and now you want mercy? What did you expect to happen here? You're getting what you deserve. Well done, then. Now, for your sentence. We don't have to become murderers. What are you talking about? He's guilty. I know that, but we don't have to kill anybody. We can imprison him. Lock him up forever. Somewhere he can never hurt anyone again. How can we be sure he won't escape? I can help. We'll use magic. That's I not good you. enough. Maybe there will be more if he isn't hasn't stopped. Been I don't care. So so we get rid of him. To get him out of here. We can send him Everyone, away. Everyone, listen up. Clearly, we're having trouble agreeing on a suitable punishment. So I think this we... This is going nowhere. Someone needs to make a decision. Who? I hope you aren't suggesting yourself. Why not? We should have a <clears throat> vote. Make it democratic. Do you really think that's going to work? He's right. Nobody can agree on anything. What about Bigby? What about him? He was appointed. He's the only official representative, really. He should be the judge. That makes sense to me. I guess it does. Okay. Fine. Are you sure? This isn't how it's- It's what the people want, Miss White. Okay. Mr. Wolf, it's your call. Oh yeah, Pierre so, no. Just do what <clears throat> you think is right. Ja pierdzielę. Ja nie wiem co ja mam. Sheriff. Do what you think is right. Teach him a fucking lesson. No. He has to die. We can lock him. Nie wiem. Zobaczymy. Everyone, I'm not this way. This. 
Rzucamy go! Nie, nie będzie mnie tu atakował! Nie będzie mnie tu atakował! Skurczy byk. No, I won't. Nie słychać było plask nawet. Nie wiem czy. Nie wiem czy dobrze zrobiłem, zobacz. Another one of us to erase from the books. Nie, nie wiem czy ja dobrze to zrobiłem w ogóle. No, widzę nic nie powiedzieli takiego za bardzo. No, zobaczymy. No, ale zaatakował mnie skurczy byk jeden. No, kurde. No, głowy nie będzie mu urywać. Nie ma sensu, powiem wam szczerze. Bo to będzie. No, zapamiętają to na całe życie przecież. No, nasi... Nasi, no... Nie wiem, jak to powiedzieć... Baśniowce. Dobrze. Hey, Uh. Oh, uh, Mr. Wolf, Flycatcher left his keys. Is everything okay? You look. I'm, I'm sorry, Sheriff. I have to take care of this. We'll talk later, okay? Dobrze. Good morning, Miss White. You're late. Co jest? Dlaczego oni nie chcą się do mnie odzywać? Hm, bardzo dziwne. Hm, 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 We only have like five minutes. And carry me for fuck's sake! I don't give a shit. You forgot these. Oh, thank you. It's uh, been pretty busy around here. No, widać zalatany i ślepo widzący. Nice fucking day. No, pewnie. Shit! Just go grab that, would you? How are you holding up? I know this isn't ideal for you. Come on, Colin. Oh. I'm walking, all right. Calm down. Wait, Sheriff Bigby. I have something. You know, he was up crying all night, poor kid. A co ty masz dla mnie tu? Can you give this to Miss White, please? Dad says there's no time to say goodbye, so if you could bring it to her. She was nice, so. Yeah, sure. I couldn't take them all with me, and she said she liked that one the best. It's a willow beetle. That's a big one. They're cool, cause when they're little, they have these pouches that squirt juice at you if you touch them. That's real nice. She said it was pretty. That's everybody. What's it like at the farm? I've heard ogres live there, and, and they eat people in their sleep sometimes. A ty jesteś człowiekiem. A ty jesteś człowiekiem. I want to stay here. Well, we don't have a choice anymore. Don't worry. You'll be a lot safer there. There's plenty of space to run around, uh, and a nice river nearby, so you can swim all you want. Even in daytime? 
Yeah. You don't have to worry about the Mundy seeing you. It'll be nice. Yep, <laughs> what? Come on. Yep, what? Junior. So junior, bad. Junior. Have yep, you watch. been there before? No. I'm, uh. Some of the animals aren't comfortable around wolves. So you wouldn't know, would you? We're all set. Bye, Mr. Wolf. Goodbye, TJ. <laughs> Świnia najlepsza. O, daj papierosa jeszcze? Are you still mad at me? Would it change your mind? You got another one of those? How yeah. about a smoke for the road? One last time? And I'm swear papierosa. Thanks, Big B. <laughs> Always a gentleman, aren't you, Big B? I guess I'll see you around. Stay out of trouble, okay? If you even can. Spróbuję. Yeah, me too. Say goodbye. A kim jest ty? Ja cię nie znam. Kobieta. Hi. Hi. Ah, Nerissa. Oh. Yeah. I guess I am. It's not easy to forget. I know it seems like I should be able to. It's just it's okay. I get it. Listen, I... I came here because I have to tell you something. What is it? It's about what happened to Faith and Lily. I'm not sure where to start. <sighs> Faith, Lily and I, we had this plan. We are gonna find a way out. Leave the pudding and pie for good. But then, Faith decided to get some leverage. She stole a picture of Crane and Lily together. The minute Faith stole that photo, we had dirt on one of the crooked man's allies. If he found out, I... I had no choice. You have to understand. You've seen how they kept us quiet in that place. Nerissa, just tell me what happened. I freaked out, okay? I thought if I came clean to Georgie, he'd get the crooked man to leave us alone. We could just forget the whole thing. Maybe try again in a few years. You what? So I told him everything. And I begged for mercy for all of us. I didn't want anyone to die over a picture. You were just trying to protect them. Yeah. Georgie promised he'd smooth things over with the crooked man. But then... Oh, God. <laughs> what happened? Can you tell me anything else? I don't know what happened. But that night at the club, Georgie came back and told me things had changed. He had to make an example of us. We had committed treason. And while the two of us were sitting there, as he was telling me this, Faith walked in. And I had to watch while well, Georgie... Wait, so Georgie told you all this? Not the crooked man? Back at the well, you said... I know what I said. But it wasn't the truth, was it? What does it matter? I know the crooked man did it. So what if it wasn't the whole truth? It was true enough. Oh, I, I guess... Uh, it's done is done. I know he ordered their deaths. I wasn't gonna let him get away with it because of a stupid technicality. Especially after that night after Faith. I tried to warn Lily, but she wasn't with her scheduled appointment. So I did the only thing I could do. I... I left Faith's head at your doorstep. You? I walked her over here. Why would you do that? I couldn't think of any other way to get your attention. So you... you started all this. I just... pointed you in the right direction. People like us get forgotten all the time. The crooked man was counting on that. When we suffer, we do it in silence. And the world likes it that way. 
We just fade. Like we Dobra, ile existed. jeszcze będziecie tu gadać? No, muszę tak godzić już inne bo... Trochę trwa niestety. Nobody cares about us. It's going to be different now. I promise. Things like that won't happen anymore. Not while I'm around. You'll make things right. Kurde, you and I don't know. Seems like no matter what I do, it's just not enough for her or anyone. I just can't win with these people. I know it might feel that way, but they need you, Bigby. Both of you. You two make a good team. The way you look out for each other and look out for us. You don't see that a lot these days. Aye, dobra. Look, Bigby. After everything you've done for us. Maybe they don't want to admit it, but without you, none of this would have happened. You listened when no one else would. You protected your friends, no matter the cost. And you brought justice to this town, finally. Because you brought the crooked man in, everyone saw who he really was. So from where I'm standing, you did the right thing. You've been given this job for a reason. And I left faith at your doorstep because I knew... I hope I've at least done some good here. You've changed this place. For better or worse, Fable Town wouldn't be the same without you. You're not as bad as everyone says you are. I need to tell you something. I have to tell you something. I feel like we've met before. You're trying to place me. You like my ribbon? Do you like it? Faith wore one too. Would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. They used to call me the Little Did Mermaid. Did Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? He said he wanted to run more tests. I hope you find what you're looking for. I'll see you around. Czy dobrze zrobiłem to wszystko? Nie wiem. Zobaczymy. Yy, dobrze. Co to jest w ogóle? Bo nie pamiętam. Aha, to jest te pierwsze. A, dobra. Tu on tam się ten. Yy, jak to się nazywa? Co on tam cierpiał w, tej, w tym barze swoim? To jest. Aha, to jest. Mmm. O, tylko 38,6 lu y, graczy wrzuciło go do studni. O, ho, ho. No nic. Dobrze, moi drodzy, żeby nie przedłużać, bo i tak ten materiał... O, ciekawe. Ciekawe, tylko... Mm. Trochę dziwnie powiem tutaj... E, ucięte są Aha, to są osoby, które padły już Dobra, czyli dam A gdzie jest ten, ten, ten Deludi, de, de, no czy jakoś tam się On zwie tam Dobrze I sobie tu przewiniemy Żeby nie przedłużać e, Dobrze, moi drodzy e, Ukończyliśmy Kontynuuj opowieść, oczywiście. Dobrze. E, tutaj nas zaraz pewnie przeniesie do sezonu drugiego. Najprawdopodobniej. E, no dobrze, ale mi chodzi o sezon drugi. Dlaczego mi tutaj... Nie, 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 nie chcę od nowa. Trochę dziwne to jest, czekajcie. Bezwartościowe. Yy. Zaraz zobaczymy, co to w ogóle nam... Dziwne troszeczkę to jest, powiem. Dlaczego mnie to ono... To już robiłem to. Tuż ja to robiłem już. A dlaczego nie może mnie... 
przenieść do tego do sezonu piątego dziwna sprawa czekajcie poprzednim menu dodatki inaczej może dodatki księga baśni nie to te to nie to to nie to to nie to to nie to wybory gracza to też nie chwila coś mi tu nie pasuje powiem wam jeszcze przy okazji no graj epizod piąty jest tylko ale dlaczego nie Czekajcie, bo coś mi tu... Nie, tu nie! Nie, nie, nie. Mm. Nie, 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 Rozpocznij epizod, ale... Zaraz, 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 bo mi się coś tu, powiem, pokrzeniło. I mean, your eyes and the teeth? You're not really supposed to do that, are you? To, 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 to już ten. To, to już jak pamiętam. Zaraz, ja już nie pamiętam poliom, dlaczego i tak pokazuje, a nie inaczej. Dziwna sprawa. Dobra, to to już pamiętam. Pamiętamy, to było w... Na początku właśnie. Holly's sister. Lily. Jak to kurde jeszcze ten? Do you even give a shit about us? Ja to powinienem bez nagrywania, o to powiem tak, że winę, muszę sobie przypomnieć, bo tu coś mi nie pasuje, powiem wam szczerze. Tak też nie. No! We're not burning the tree, Snow. Nie, bo jeszcze... Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? The rules are the rules. I don't get to make them, I just enforce them. Bull... Shit. Dobra, to 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 pamiętam. Oh God, Big B. This time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart. Szkoda, że nie da się tego pominąć. Jak ktoś tam jest wizytowany, to jest the morgue. Big B, wait. When you get the crooked man. Make sure you bring him back alive. Yeah, to you stairs. He has to stand trial. Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. To to już pamiętam. Też tego też się nie da przewinąć. Właśnie coś tu pokiczkałem teraz, powiem wam, bo nie wiem już na którym skończyłem To być musiał sezon drugi zacząć, tylko właśnie ja nie wiem Dlaczego mi tak pokazuje, a nie inaczej Ja tu żem pokiczkał te No dawaj, 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 już se kurczę ten Ale my chyba to... Kurde, dziwna sprawa. You've come a long way. Nie, to jest dziwne. Nie, 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 nie. To nie jest to w ogóle nawet. Nie, 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 nie. Ja tu sobie sam, samemu po, jak to się mówi, pogłówkuję, ale bez nagrywania i jak coś, to zacznę nagrywać, jak znajdę ten sezon drugi, bo coś mi tu, mówię, nie pasuje. Tu kurde, epizod piąty jest, przecież ja go ukończyłem już. Ale mi chodzi, zmień plik zapisu właśnie, przy okazji. Bezwartościowe życie. 
Ja sobie tu zobaczę, e, moi drodzy, poza nagraniem o to, na przykład. I... E, będziemy kontynuować oczywiście w kolejnym materiale. I trzymajcie się, cześć.